Hey everyone, welcome to Cross Lutheran Church. I'm glad to have you here. If you don't know me by now, I'm Pastor John, pastor of one of the best congregations that ever existed in the world. And one of the things that makes us one of the best is that we progress with the times. And right now we're progressing with a brand new app. Look at my phone is full of apps. I'm sure your phone and tablet is full of apps as well. Now, at first I wasn't a fan of apps, but now I'm a fan of apps because it's quick and easy access to everything I need to know. I need to know the weather, go to my app. Look up something in the scripture, go to my Bible on my phone. Whenever I have my phone with me, I carry a whole bunch of things with me. In fact, it causes more anxiety for me to lose my phone than it does for my wallet. And I think that's true for a lot of us. Now we have an opportunity to cross Lutheran to carry cross with us wherever we go with, on our phone, on our tablet, or on our PC. We are launching an app very, very soon. And so please be on the lookout for when you can download the app. And not only can you download the app, so too can your family and friends. You don't have to be a member of Cross Lutheran Church to have the app. But the app is going to give us all kinds of wonderful opportunities. Like, like what, you may ask? Well, it's one way for us to remain connected. Say you're out camping. If you have cell phone service, you can connect across. Say you're at your kid's volleyball tournament or hockey tournament, you can connect across. Say you're at a concert, you can connect across. Anywhere you have your phone or tablet with you, you can connect across, which is a really, really cool thing. And when you connect across, what can you do? Well, for one thing, you can read scripture throughout the whole year because we'll not only have the Bible on the app, but we'll also have a program for how to read the Bible through the entire year. Also, if you missed worship, you can look at a recording of worship just as you would on your PC, but also you can take notes on the worship service. You can even take notes on the sermon. You can say, did Pastor John really say that? You can write it down. Oh my gosh, he really did say that. He's in trouble. Or, wow, that was really, really cool. You can have that instant access to write the stuff down. Also, we can have a push notification system so we can message each other. Specific groups can receive notifications of what's going on. Because you know, I'm fond of the emailing. You might not always be fond of all the emails I send. Well, with this push notification system, if an email doesn't apply to you, you won't receive it. We'll just have it set for specific groups within the congregation, but we'll also have the option of messaging the whole congregation in case of an emergency or if weather would prohibit us gathering together for worship. The app will also connect us to our website because the website's really the door into the congregation and the community. And so instead of having to log in to get to our website, just press a button and just follow the instructions. We can also give to the congregation through the app as well. There'll be a new option for giving. In fact, it'll be the only app option for us to give to. But again, a lot of times we don't carry checkbooks anymore. We don't carry cash, certainly. And all of a sudden, if we have a request for an offering, a special offering, or we have an appeal, no worries. We can just use the app as well. It's also, as I mentioned, going to be in a, a way for different forms or communities within the congregation to be connected as well. Council can have their own chat room. Choir can have their own chat room. Family and youth can have their own chat room. It's going to be really, really cool that way as well. Also, you know, we can stream our services through the app. We will do so already through YouTube, but this will be one more way as well. And then, last but hardly least, we'll have a better presence in the world and in the community. Everyone can have the app, and they can see what's happening here at this wonderful congregation, what kind of ministries we're doing, what we have to offer to the world, to the community. They can look at us and see us and... Um, also, if you have family and friends who are once part of Cross but live thousands of miles away or across the world, hey, now they can be easily connected as well. So too can your friends and neighbors who have belonged to other congregations here or no congregations, but they can have access to cookie fair information, Christmas information, Easter information, things like that, that the rest of the world sometimes wants. But in other words, with the app, will always be easy to find. So it's going to not only increase our presence in the community, it's also going to increase our ability to communicate with one another and really keep us in 
the current world. Scripture tells us to be as wise as serpents, as, as gentle as doves. Well, this app is going to be one way we do that. We live in a time where we have to embrace technology. For good or bad, we have to. And this app is letting us keep up to date and will make us more relevant to a lot more people than what we already are. So it's a good thing. And so when we're ready to launch, launch it. It will be free. You'll be able to find it on Google or the App Store and download it on your phone, your device, and your PC, and you'll be connected always to Cross. And that's a good thing. Thanks, and God bless.